Hey, my name is Greg Peterson. And I'm Jeremy Steincross. And today we are going to show you how to calculate the amount of usable wood in a tree, also known as board feet. There are two things that we are going to show you how to do today. The first one, which I'm going to show you, is how to calculate the height of a tree using a tool called a clinometer and several formulas. The second thing is we're going to find the diameter of the tree and how we do that is we measure four and a half feet up, measure the diameter, and multiply that by the height of the tree to find the board feet. All right, we will now take you inside and show you what tools we are going to use in order to do First thing we got to do here is measure up four and a half feet find the rest height and you use your tape measure to measure the circumference of the tree. Uh, you can also use what's called a DBH tape which uh, has the diameter already figured in but since not everybody has access to one of those you can use a regular tape measure to find the circumference of the tree. Wrap the tape measure around and we see our Circumference is about three feet four inches. So now we can take our circumference and use that to find our diameter. And we'll show you how to do that when we get inside. All right, what we are going to do now is find the height of a tree. First thing I have to do is find out how far away from the tree I am standing. Uh, I'm using a roller wheel to measure how far that is, and I'm going to do it right now. Okay, I chose a nice even number of 60 feet, which should make our calculations easy. Um, the second thing we need to do is use this clinometer in order to get an angle, um, which would be angle Z, which will be at the top of the tree, and we will show you this here in a minute. Basically, what a clinometer is, is it has a range of 90 degrees on it. Uh, we've used a straw to sight through. We're going to look through that straw to find the top of the tree. Then we have a simple piece of thread and a washer, which will give us a degree on this that we can use in our formula, which we will explain later. So right now I'm going to take this, I'm going to sight it to the top of the tree, and I'm going to get a angle reading on that. Jeremy, can you zoom in on that and get it real quick? 32. 32. All right. So we use our distance of 60 feet and our angle of 32 to go in and figure out the height of this tree. All right. What we're going to do now is use our clinometer reading uh, and our distance from the tree to figure out um, how high this tree actually is. Uh, what I drew here was just a simplified picture drawing um, of what we did outside using the clinometer. And then right down here, I drew a more simplified line drawing um, that we can get our calculations from. Let me go over them real quick. Uh, line BC is the one that we don't know. Um, that's the height of the tree minus my height, which would be uh, CD right there. Okay? AC right here is going to be the distance to the tree um, that we used in order to get our angle in the first place. All right, so our angle ended up being 32 in, um, in our measurement. And here is the formula that we are going to use in order to find the height of a tree. All right, first of all, we need to find the tangent of uh, the angle 32. You can do that two ways. You can use a calculator, or you can go online and find a tangent table. It will give you all the angles possible, and you can just go to the angle that you need and find it. Right here, I have 32, all right? Um, and my tangent for angle 32 is 0.6248. We'll just round to two, two decimals, so we will use 0.62. All right, going back over here, let's solve this problem. All right, 
we have 0.62 times CA, which is going to be 60, all right, plus my height, which is CD, which is going to be 5.9 feet. Use a calculator real quick and figure this out. We got 0.62 times 60 plus 5.9. And that will equal 43.1. which is going to be the height of our tree. All right, now that we've found the height of the tree, we're going to use the circumference to find the board feet. And our circumference was 3 feet 4 inches, and when you turn that measurement into inches, which is just 40 inches. So our circumference is 40 inches. To find the diameter from circumference, you're going to take the circumference Divide that by pi, which is 12.73. That is now our diameter. After we find the diameter, we have to find the radius. And to find the radius, you simply divide your diameter by 2. So when you divide 12.73 by 2, you come up with 6.37. That's our radius, so we will remember that um, for our next step. This is our formula we're going to use to find the board feet. Take our radius, we square it, so uh, 6.37 squared is going to equal uh, 40.58. So we'll get that. Take that measurement, 40.58, and we're going to multiply it by pi. So 40.58 times pi is going to equal 127.49. We are still in inches. Now we found the first part of our formula here. We're going to divide that by 144. And 127.49 divided by 144 is 0 0.86. Once we get there, we can take that. 0.86 times it by the height of our tree, which was 43.1 feet. So we'll take 0.86 times 43.1. And when you multiply that, you come up with 37.07. And after you get to that point, 37.07, you're going to take that and you're going to multiply it by one foot cube, because we're going to turn our, our measurement into feet cube. And that's just going to make it 37.07 feet cubed. The last thing we do is multiply that by 12 to get our board feet, which would be 444.84. So the board feet for our tree is 444.84.